We've been married all several months. After about a year, little Billy Paul come on the scene. Oh, she almost died. And how I walked up and down the floor when the little fellow was being born, and just as soon as he was born, I heard him cry and I screamed. I said, Thank you, Lord. It's a boy, and his name shall be called Billy Paul. Many of you know my son, Billy Paul. His mother died when he was just a little baby. And I packed him around, and nighttime we couldn't afford enough coal to keep fire, so we'd, I'd have put his bottle under my shoulders like this and keep it warm for him at nighttime. When he'd wake up crying for his mother, I'd put the bottle in his mouth. And she asked me when she was dying, always stick with Billy. We've been real chums. And so everywhere I go, I take Billy, and he's stuck with me. Well, I can take this opportunity to greet you. I don't get this opportunity much anymore. As you get a little older, you can't do the things that you used to do. You want to and in your heart, but one thing I want you to know, that I love you, and I pray for you daily. And I know that you pray for me, because that's why I'm here today. Truly, we're a blessed people. And I just want to take an opportunity to say, God bless you. And over the many years that I have known you and have worked with you, when Dad was here and now in the work with Brother Joseph, and it's just an honor to call you my friend. And you know, there's words you can't say, but I just trust that this little greeting will be a blessing to you. Just to say, I love you and that you can feel it from your heart. You know, Brother Branham said we could, we could talk too much, we could sing too much, we could shout too much, but we could never pray too much. And each day, Brother Branham told me, he said, when you come into the office, Billy, he said, I want you to do my mail. And I said, Daddy, I don't even know how to turn on the typewriter. He says, the Lord will be with you. He said, he told me he wants you to do that for me. And I said, okay. He said, no matter if you've got one letter or you've got a thousand, he said, the first thing you do is kneel down and pray and lay your hands on the mail and ask the Lord to help you that day. And he said, don't you answer any Bible questions. Don't you answer for me. He said, if there's a question to me, you keep them. And when we get together the next day or that day or whenever, he says, then you write down on the envelope and I'll answer the questions. He said, but no matter where I am, he says, you remember every day that you do the mail. He said, I'll be praying for you. And he says, and God will be there with you. And he says, don't process the mail. He said, just open one letter at a time and rem just think like you only have one letter to answer. And he says, and then when you're through with that, he says, discard it and then get another one. And that's what I've been doing for the last 60 years. And it's been a great honor. And I know I'm getting older now. I'm not an old man, but I know I'm getting up there. And soon I've got to go and be what well, we've all been waiting for, and I believe that hour is so close at hand. But I just wanted an opportunity to say I love you, and I thank you for your love to me, your stand for this word. And you know, Brother Billy, I'm just talking to you from my heart. I believe this is a one-man message. It's a perfect message. There's no mistakes. There's many voices, but for me and my house, we only follow one voice, and that's the voice of God to us in this day. It's perfect. It needs no interpretation. It interprets itself. 